Hi there, it's Rick. Today I'll be taking you to the Provincetown Public Library. Uh, I'm going to take a different route than what I normally do just so that you can see that there are options even in a small town. So uh, let's get going. So today we're taking Bradford Street, which is one of three parallel streets. Commercial Street along the waterfront, which is what its name says. Uh, it's our primary uh, business district. Then we have Bradford Street here, which is a major collector street. Gets quite a bit of car traffic. Uh, uh, the speed limit on Commercial Street which is one block over, is 15 miles per hour through the center of town. Bradford Street here is 25 miles per hour and slows down to 20 in the center of town. And then further to what I will call the north, which would be to the right, <laughs> is another parallel street, which is Route 6, uh, which is a separated highway, four lanes with a uh, 50 mile per hour speed limit. I don't ride on that because there's no bike facilities yet. So you'll notice that Bradford Street has no sidewalks and no bike lanes. <coughs> Although you can see, oh, excuse me, little demand paths along the edge. Because lots of folks do walk along here. Gonna pause here and catch my breath. So you'll see in front of me one of these electronic speed signs. It doesn't look like it's working right now. Uh, but it's one of those things that tells you how fast you're going. It starts, the speed starts flashing if you're going too fast. Uh, that's about all that it does. If nothing else, it helps a little bit with awareness. There's a beautiful view here from the top of this hill, so I'm just going to turn. Oh, there's no cars. Great view of the harbor. Uh, anyway, it's really pretty in the summertime. So once I get going, like down the hill, uh, since there's no bike lanes, I typically ride in the middle of the travel lane. That benefits everybody in two ways. One, it lets them know that I'm <laughs> going in the straight line. It also gives me an opportunity to signal if I'm turning left and not have to merge out into traffic um, if there's a lot of folks going in the same direction. It's quite frustrating. Center Street. And up ahead, building with the steeple, it's the library. Now this is actually a two-way street, 
<laughs> but you can't really tell. And here, uh, my crate covers flopping up in the wind. Uh, here's the bike parking that is uh, right at the entrance. In the summertime, uh, the town installs a on-street uh, bike corral down at the bottom of this hill. Um, because as you can imagine, summertime uh, bike traffic increases really dramatically. So this is the Provincetown Public Library. I'm going to pop in and see if my book is there. Hello. I wanted to see. I I think I have a book that's still on hold, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks very much. I love this little library. Yes, it even has a bike, a book bike, and a fantastic reading room. Anyway, it's three floors. It's really quite spectacular. This is the section that I usually am at, which is the science fiction. Uh, and then the mystery section, which is huge. So they have a really good collection of books. Um, It's nice to see I'm not the only one who's riding a bike to the library in, uh, on a February day. <laughs> um, we do have a lot of folks who travel by bike year-round. Our bike commuter stat is about 18% of folks um, bike to work. Uh, about 25% of folks here uh, walk to work, and uh, that's been going up um, every year. So that was the Provincetown Public Library. Um, really easy to get to. Is your library as easy to get to as mine is? Um, I'd like to find out more about what everyday bike trips are like in your community. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.